Our trip to the Gail Borden Public Library this time has information about a very familiar character, news on an astronaut coming to town, and details about the current fabulous exhibit at the library. Uh, what's really exciting about the Space Dare to Dream exhibit at the Gail Borden Public Library is when you come in, in our main rotunda where I'm standing right, right now, is you'll find that people react to this exhibit so differently depending on when they're born. When you were, if you were alive, when John F. Kennedy challenged people to go to the moon, totally different. It's a flood of memories. If you weren't alive, you might start at the space shuttle in the concession area. And then this is just all new, wonderful things and, and new reactions, new, new learning. Uh, and there's people who were born in between John F. Kennedy's challenge and the 1969 walk on the moon. Uh, tremendous uh, vari variation on how people react to this exhibit and we've been so pleased. When you first come in the building you'll find ancient cosmology and that's where we our furthest back in time exhibit starts. You will see it set up like Stonehenge and it's set up because Stonehenge is, is reflected in the, the material there and that was 2000 BC and probably used to predict eclipses in, in ancient Britain. In our youth area is the Galileo exhibit. The advancements that he made to the telescope made scientists uh, that came behind him a uh, job a lot easier. That discoveries were made that the Earth was not the center of the universe, the Sun was. The timeline walls will, will display a number of scientists' contributions to how we ended up putting people on the moon. Uh, the stories are there, the Newton, Hubble, Einstein, a number of scientists and, and their contributions reflected here. The, we talk about the Mercury, the Gemini, and the Apollo. Saturn V is the big rumbler you'll, feel, you'll hear and feel in the rotunda and the contribution that this big rocket made toward uh, orbiting in space. Hi, I'm Kate Brulette, Director of Circulation Services at the Gail Borden Public Library. After orbiting 779 times around the Earth, living in space for 49 days, and traveling 18.8 million miles, astronaut Dr. Janice Foss is landing at the Gail Borden Library on Tuesday, July 10th. At 7 p.m., she will be telling us about her new mission, finding an Earth-like planet around distant stars. Dr. Janice Foss is an accomplished veteran astronaut. She has done five space missions. Some of her accomplishments are several spacewalks. She has used the space shuttle's um, robotic arm to retrieve equipment out in space. She's rendezvoused with the Russian space station Mir. Additionally, Dr. Voss has served as the payload commander for the Columbia. And finally, as part of an international crew on the Endeavour, she mapped more than 47 million miles of Earth's land surface. And now, Dr. Janice Voss will be here at the Gail Borden Library to present a program called NASA's Kepler Mission, a search for Earth-like planets. Kepler is a spacecraft, and here's a picture of it. Um, that is going to be launched November 2008 and will look for planets just like our Earth that can support life. You can Google Kepler mission and that would be for details and to find out what Legos have to do with searching for the answer to the one of the most enduring questions humans have asked throughout the history. And that would be, are there others like us in the universe? Please join us for an exciting program for all ages by registering online at www.gailborden.info. Select news and programs, then library programs and events. Or you can call the library at area code 847-429-4680. Or you can come in and drop at our information desk, which is our uh, mission control center and register there. Again, the event is Tuesday, July 10th at 7 p.m. in our community rooms. Come and dare to dream with us. Join us on the evening of July 20th, starting at 10 p.m. till midnight for the pre-release of the new Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, books will go on sale for 40% off starting at midnight after we go through a series of programs and fun activities, including a scavenger hunt and a team trivia challenge 
teams must register. They can be up to four members, but have a minimum of two. And it'll be a great time. Hope to see you there.